All right, Shalom Akim, Shalom Yasharala. First and foremost, want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father, in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the ancient Hebrew. Also, want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And also, want to send out a hearty Shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible. And risk your lives doing so in efforts to waking up the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, this is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami. Coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. And uh, Lord willing, this is edifying. Okay, now the title of this lesson is going to be called um, Spiritual Flexibility. Okay, Spiritual Flexibility. And um, what, I'm, what I want to go into... OK, or what, you know, I'm insinuating by saying spiritual flexibility is that uh, the fact of the matter is every aspect of the scriptures is not uh, black and white. OK, um, for example, you know, us, um, you know, basically amassing women to ourselves. OK, here in Babylon. OK, which is lawful. OK. But, uh, you know, the Apostle Paul spoke about, you know, the times that we're living in. And um, it's just not being expedient for these times. OK, so in certain situations and certain, uh, uh, um, you know, manifestations in the scriptures, you have to utilize what is called spiritual flexibility. OK, because everything is not uh, per se black and white. OK, like, uh, uh, for instance, the Sabbath. OK, now you have a lot of brothers that, uh, you know, uh, do uh, work off the apps, you know, i.e. Uber and um you know, lift and things of that nature, okay, that uh, pretty much can take Sabbaths off, you know. But as far as other brothers, which are the majority of the brothers in Great Millstone, okay, don't have that luxury, okay, and um, have to work on the Sabbath, okay. Does that mean that they're condemned? Of course not, okay. See, a part of our, uh, our punishment, okay, is uh, being in captivity and not being able to... Uh, 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 you know, establish our laws, okay, um, and live according to, you know, our heritage, okay? That's a part of our punishment, okay? Now, the, there's a fine line, okay, that is not to be crossed. Now, if you have the ability to do so, why not, okay? But for a lot of brothers, you know, they don't have that luxury to take off the Sabbath, okay, every Sabbath, okay? Because if they did, they would get fired from their job, you know? And then, like I say, certain brothers are not in a predicament, to work off the apps, this, that, you know, and so forth, okay? So uh, that's what I'm entailing or insinuating, okay, by speaking on spiritual flexibility, okay? And ultimately means to be able to understand through the spirit what the spirit is saying, okay? And understanding, look, we're under grace, we're under mercy, but also not using that for maliciousness, okay? And like I said earlier, everything, okay, per se, is not uh, black and white, okay? And that's a hey, that's the beautiful, beautiful uh, gospel. OK, the great news that, um, you know, hey, the scriptures say blesses the man whose sins are not imputed unto him. man." And that is one of the greatest gifts, because if that was the case, there'd be no flesh to be saved. OK, because the scriptures say we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory. OK, so uh, what I did is I put together a few examples. OK, just to uh, emphasize that point. OK. Lord willing that uh, this is edifying, okay? But first, I want to go into what the spirit is, okay? And I'm pretty sure brothers, uh, you know, have a, 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 a pretty good understanding of uh, what, this, what the spirit is. Okay, I believe it's... Uh, uh, is it? Nope, Salakia. Um, St. John, Salakia. You know, I'm pretty sure brothers have a, a fluid understanding of what the spirit is. But uh, the apostle uh, Elder Tahar made a great point. OK, you got a lot of new newcomers coming into the faith. OK, and we got to We got to do exactly what we've been called to do, which is to teach. OK, to peel back the layers, because everybody that watches your video is uh, not a brother who's been in the faith for five, six, seven, eight years. You know, you got a lot of brothers that are, you know, within their first month, first six months to a year. OK. And uh, that's why we were called to edify, man. OK. And guess what? Our foundations are built on that milk. 
that we obtain. Okay, and that's like the brother Ramak always likes to say. That's pretty much what, you know, you got to go back to those basic scriptures, man, that, uh, you know, that's pretty much what compelled you to come into this thing, man, and fueled you. Okay, this is St. John chapter 6. And um, we'll start at 63, St. John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit of nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Okay, so in, in a nutshell, okay, the spirit is, is, is this word, it's the Bible. Okay, when, when you hear uh, Holy Spirit, it's speaking about the Bible. Okay, not a, not a trinity. Okay, uh, um, okay, it's, it's speaking about the Holy Spirit. Okay, and the scriptures tell you what, uh, uh, our Lord, Yahweh Shah is found in the volume of the book. It is written of me. Okay. I read that again, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh, profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Okay, so the scriptures from Genesis to the Apocrypha to Revelations, that is the Holy Spirit. Okay. And, um, you know, I brought that out because we were speaking about spiritual flexibility. Okay. So it means to be able to move and matriculate and handle your business accordingly while continuing to maintain true to this Holy Spirit. Okay, let's get. Uh, let's start with First Corinthians, First Corinthians, chapter nine, and we'll start at, uh, I believe, 19. I think that's what I want. Uh, First Corinthians nine and 19. It says, for though I be free from all men. Yet have I made myself servant also unto Salakia. Read it again. Verse 19. For though I be free from all men, yet have I made myself servant unto all that I might gain the more. Verse 20. And unto the Jews, I became as a Jew that I might again, uh, gain the Jews to them that are under the law and under the law that I might gain them that are under the law, okay? So it's showing you right here as a prime example of uh, the Apostle Paul using spiritual flexibility, okay? Because when he is, uh, speaks of the Jews, those were the ones that knew the laws, okay? Knew that they were Israelites, okay? And were keeping the customs and the traditions, okay? But to, to, to win them over, so to speak, okay? Or to compel them into the gospel, he became as one of them, you see? Because when you do the history on Paul, he was, you know, he was raised up in the in the uh, uh, synagogues and, you know, well learned. You know, he was like he said, I was uh, 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 I forget uh, how he said it, but um, basically saying I was I was one of those guys, you know, being taught up by uh, Gamaliel, you know. Um, you know, he was well learned in the doctrine, in, the, in, the, in what I will say in the scriptures. OK, in the scrolls. OK. He says, and unto the Jews, I became as a Jew that I might gain uh, 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 the Jews. And that's what he said. I'm, I was a Pharisee of the Pharisees. OK, which ultimately did believe in the resurrection of Yahweh. You see, it says, and unto the Jews, I became as a Jew that I might gain the Jews to them that are under the law as under the law that I might gain them that are under the law. OK, because the reality is both sex, the Jews and those that were under the law. They needed to be taught about who? Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, the gospel. Okay? So what did Paul do? He used spiritual flexibility so that he can gain the, those men. Okay? Uh, verse 21. To them that are without law as without law. Okay? So Paul even went to those who were without the law, who didn't really uh, have the understanding of the law. Okay? And acted as them. Okay? And then use... Uh, uh, the scriptures actually say he used God to gain men. You see, but in this scenario, he became as uh, used that spiritual flexibility to be as one of those men, so that he can gain souls. Now, obviously, he didn't gain all of them. Okay, but hey, like we uh, the elder apostles always say, you know, even amongst these pseudo Israelite groups, there are elect scattered amongst them. Every last one of them. Okay, and we wholeheartedly believe that. Okay, and then Paul is showing you. Okay, and this is, you know, to brothers that, you know, because, hey, I hear a great meal song, we're going to rebuke your ass, man. Why? Because we're ordered to. That is a commandment. Okay? But there's a way to do it. Okay? And that's what Paul is insinuating. Look, you know, yeah, you know this guy's IUIC, but you ain't got to go and curse out, you know, talk down on Nate and, you know, mock their garments and the way that they, you know, no, you don't have to do that. Okay? 
you, you, you come with all due respect. OK, and that's why the elder apostle uh, pretty much made that decree to stop, you know, speaking down on these different guys, man. OK, although they're deserving of it. But guess what? The elect are scattered amongst the, those men. So it is it is a righteous act to use spiritual uh, uh, flexibility so that we can gain souls, man. OK, for your how about Shemia Uh Verse 22 to the weak became I as weak that I might gain the weak. I am made all things to all men that I might might by all means save some. You see? And that's what it's all about, brothers. Okay? Now go back up to 19. There's a very important part. It says, For though I be free from all men, yet have I made myself servant to all, unto all, that I might gain the more. Okay? And that's pretty much what we've been called into, bro, uh, brothers. You know? To basically humble yourself. Okay, the scriptures say what? The greater thou art, the more humble thyself. Okay, why? Because you're, you're called to be a minister un, unto, unto many. Okay? It's saying, this is, hey, the scriptures say I endure all things for the elect's sake. All things, meaning sometimes you got to talk to bug outs, man. Sometimes you got to lower yourself, humble yourself, okay? So that what? You can do what you were called to do. Period, point blank, man. Okay, and that ins incites what? Spiritual flexibility. Let's go to Philippians. Let's go to Philippians. I believe I want, yeah, four. Yeah. Salaki, I went to Philemon. Um, let's go to Philippians chapter four. And we'll start at. Uh, Okay, uh, Philippians 4. Um, let's see. Okay, I started now. Philippians 4 and 9, but the point is, I believe, between 12 and 14. Okay, uh, but Philippians 4 and 9, it says, Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do. And the power of peace shall be with you. Verse 10. But I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at the last your care of me have flourished again, wherein ye were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. OK, and of course, uh, the Apostle Paul speaking to the brothers at uh, Philippi. OK, the Israelite brothers at Philippi. OK, verse 11. Not that I speak in respect of want. For I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. OK, right. Because the actual understanding of, of our walk is that uh, the most high is trying us. OK. And really, we're, 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 we've been called. OK, Lord willing, we are those men, you know, the, uh, of the hopefully elect. We've been called and assigned to be what? The judges of the universe, not just the world, but the universe. The scriptures say that you shall judge angels. OK. So what, what process should the Lord take you through? Okay, a balanced one. One of you being up and one of you being down. Okay, and that's what Paul has learned, man, to be content. Why? Because the Heavenly Father is still with you, man. Okay, and especially in his case, Yahweh Shai taught him uh, uh, specifically, man, personally, you know? So he's, he's saying, look, not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. Why? Because the Lord is with you, man. Okay? And whatever is happening is for your betterment. Okay? The Most High is not the author of confusion. He's not going to do anything, okay, that will risk your salvation. Now, if that is the case and a guy falls away, well, that was his lot. You see? That's why the scriptures say, uh, if they if they uh, roughly paraphrasing, they are no longer with us because they were never of us. You see? And then, like I always tell brothers, man, when you, when you peel back the layers and you do the homework on guys that fall away from this thing, they were never right, okay? They were never right. But they may have seen right to other brothers. But, hey, if that's the case, if they were right, okay, and the most high just cast them away, then, hey, we're all doomed, man, okay? But that ain't the case, okay? Manifestation, the most high is all about uh, uh, manifestations, Okay, reasons why guys fall away from this thing. Verse 12, I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound 
everywhere and in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. You see? And, and ultimately, guess what? It's going to show you balance, man. Okay? God, the scriptures say a false balance is an abomination to the heavenly father. Okay? And then as a judge, what is the symbol for judging? Judgment. A scale. You see? So we're going to go through the, the uh, 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 you know, certain situations. Okay? And what do we have to utilize? Spiritual flexibility. Okay? Understanding that everything, everything, even on the left-hand side. Okay? Even when you're uh, abased. Okay? Everything is through the spirit. Okay, and that's the beauty of understanding the scriptures, knowing that, look, all of this is for my better. This is making me the man that Yahweh Shemiah Yahusha wants me to be. Okay, we can't even fathom what the Heavenly Father has lined up for us. Okay, and I don't mean just uh, the blessings. Okay, I mean uh, uh, the lot that he wants us in. Okay, it says what? We're priests. Okay, kings and priests. Kings rule, priests uh, 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 set things in order, man. A minister unto Yahweh by Shemi Shah. You see? That's a heavy lot, man. Okay? But the, the comfort in it is understanding that the Most High is going to do all of these things, man. Okay? Verse 13. It says, I can do all things through Hamashiach, which strengthens me. Verse 14. Notwithstanding, ye have well done that ye did communicate with my affliction. Okay? So the point there, brothers, look. That spirit. You're going to, hey, in your walk, you're going to have to utilize spiritual flexibility. You're going to have to know, look. The Most High doesn't hate me, okay? Even though my car broke down in the worst situation, okay? And and I'm not in the kingdom of heaven if you get a large lump sum of money or you get uh, 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 close to, I won't even say a dream job because our dream job is to prophesy, okay? But you get a job that sets your family in order and, and, and sets you apart, you know? That doesn't mean you're in the kingdom of heaven, okay? You still got to fight. You still got to push this word, okay? And you're going to be abased, Okay, but that's the balance in it. You, sometimes you're going to be up. Sometimes you're going to be down. And abounding in the basin doesn't necessarily mean with finances. Okay, it means through the spirit. You know, so that what? You can use spiritual flexibility when you're abased, meaning you're low in the spirit. And what are you going to do? You're going to give supplication. You're going to cry unto the Lord. You're going to pray. You're going to fast. Okay, all of those things please the Heavenly Father. You know, and when you're abased, I mean abound, when you're abound, you're going to praise the Heavenly Father. You're going to thank him. The water Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. Call Halalim La Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. You see? All inciting what? Spiritual flexibility. Okay? Okay, let's get one more. And um, we'll close this thing out. If the Spirit says the same. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Hmm. Let's start at 20. Okay, the point is, I believe, at 23. Okay, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 20. It says, But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to the most high. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Verse 21, ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. Okay. Ultimately, in sign what? You got to step, you got to choose a side, man. Okay. You can't straddle the fence. <laughs> the most I going to split your ass in two, man. You got to pick a side. Okay. Verse 22, uh, do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? Verse 23. Um, and here's the point. It says, all things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. Okay. And what Paul is inciting, man, is that, look, yeah, there's certain things in the law, like I stated earlier, you know, the Lord said, what? Be fruitful and multiply. Okay. But the apostle Paul also said, look, we're not in those times, man. Okay. The time is short. The, the, uh, uh, the harvest is great and the laborers are few. We ain't got time to be amassing women to ourselves and trying to live like we're in the kingdom. Okay? Because we're not. Okay? And all you're going to do is burden yourself. You see? Why? Because the women are not in their right state. Okay? And for the most part, we're not. 
because our right state is entailed in the scriptures. Okay, and you got to go all the way back to the garden and, 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 and read on what the most high intended for man and woman to, uh, 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 to be like. Okay, we've lost our stature. Okay, we we're full of GMOs, uh, systemic um, um, eugenics. You know what I'm saying? So all, the, all those things, you know, and there's a long list of things that are lawful in the scriptures, but it ain't expedient. Like the age of, of, of marriage. OK, which marriage ultimately means to have sex. OK, when when the woman uh, 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 reaches the, uh, the flower of her age, that is the Lord sending the signal that she is ready to uh, 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 to reproduce. OK, which normally. OK, well, I speak for my Eve. She had hers at 10, you know. OK, and that might be because of the hormones and the food, but who knows? OK. But, you know, normally around between 10 and 12, okay, women be, uh, go on their period, okay? That is the Lord saying, look, that fruit is ripe to be eaten, just like on a tree. You know, the mango, it comes off green green and hard, okay? And then eventually it starts to turn yellow and get gets red in it. That is the Lord's sign to us that it's ready to eat, okay? Just like with women. But although it's lawful to have sex with a woman in the most high's eyes, Okay, when she has reached the flower of her age, it's not expedient. Okay, <laughs> why? Because God's laws are not established here in America, man. Okay, and Esau would throw your ass under the jail, man, and you get your head kicked in by the other inmates. <laughs> you see, but all what that points out is that you have to use spiritual flexibility. Okay, hey, just like uh, the Lord told uh, who was that uh. Mm, I believe it was uh, Peter, if I'm not mistaken, where, uh, you know, they asked, he asked, who do the people say that I am? OK. And he ultimately said, look, thou art the Messiah. OK. And he said, surely, uh, uh, roughly paraphrasing, flesh and blood have not revealed that unto you, but the Holy Spirit. You see. And that's ultimately what it boils down to, brothers. The Lord is going to give us the, the, the aptitude to be able to utilize that spiritual flexibility, okay, in our walk and in the times that come, okay? In the times that come, you're going to have to utilize spiritual flexibility, okay? But like I said earlier, without crossing that red line, okay, being in order, not adding to the scriptures or taking away from the scriptures, okay, but moving through the spirit, okay? So, uh, yeah, I believe I hit the point. And uh, like I say, Lord willing, this was edifying. You know, I didn't really, you know, fully grasp this baby. But the spirit spoke and it said, shoot, you know, and I fired. And Lord willing, it was edifying. So uh, with that, I say, Shalom.